Tonight, the Council on American Islamic Relations hosted a night of hope and healing at Sacramento State. The event brought out hundreds of people from many different religions and backgrounds to show solidarity with Muslims and Sacramento and all over the world. It's very unfortunate that we're here tonight. It is wrong that we are here tonight. But what I want everyone to know in this audience is that Sacramento State is here for you. That was Sacramento State President Robert Nelson. He was joined by student and faith leaders and elected officials who shared unifying messages through this tragedy. ABC 10's Giacomo Luca went to the event to speak to Muslim men and women about how this attack has affected them. This has been a really huge tragedy. Members of Sacramento's Islamic community say the attack at a New Zealand mosque has weighed on them heavily. Um, and something this, as this big of a tragedy happening uh, there is really devastating um, and it affects uh, Muslims all across the world. Assalamu how are you? Zainab Abdelaziz doesn't usually wear a headscarf. This happening, like, it just, it made me feel more connected with my religion. But joined with other Muslim women doing so around the world to show solidarity. It made me, like, stand with other people and have the same emotions as them. Um, I probably just say empowerment, like it made me want to be Muslim. It made me want to express my religion more. In times like these, Afsana Popal says we must come together. It's so terrible to see that something like that can cause a lot more hatred and a lot more negativity. So it's in times like that where you need to have solidarity and have these conversations and gather people together and really refocus those ideologies that are being spread. Regardless of religion, of race, of nationality, um, we're all part of one human race um, and that should be our greatest focus because that will unify us rather than, you know, divide us. In Sacramento, Giacomo Luca, ABC 10 News.